one of these days I'll figure this out, I swear. Anyway, hi guys, it's me again, and I'm like drenched in sweat. I'm sweating so bad, it's like crazy. It's like, I think Planet Fitness needs to have a big like air tunnel that you can just walk through on your way out, or just like, kind of like the car washes where you can like blow dry yourself. I think we need that. I think they need just like a little, you know, area you can walk through and you can just like blow dry, like massive blow dry all the sweat off of you. So you don't have to walk out all glisteny and sparkly. It's not sweat, it's sparkles. Because girls don't sweat, we sparkle. But anyway, so today it's Monday and I was actually at my fiance's house an extra day because my son spent the night at a friend's house. So I didn't feel guilty going um, to my fiance's house for an extra evening. Um, until my son is done hanging out with his buddy. So my fiance is working and so I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go to the gym and get some workout in. So right now, aside from trying to lose weight, which is just not happening, uh, and I don't know quite why, but it's not just yet. I'm kind of like stuck at a really, I haven't really lost weight. I'd gained a bunch of weight. I lost a bunch last year and then I gained it all back at the beginning of the year so I've got it all back again and now I'm trying to lose it again and now it's summertime and I'm not even I, I'm not even like lost anything which sucks so I don't know what I'm doing to tell you the truth um, but I'm trying <laughs> I haven't totally given up yet but it gets really difficult like yesterday was Mother's Day and we were at a brunch and I was with my sisters and not because I was with my sisters um, I think they think that I try to like act like I eat better than I do or something when I'm around them and I really don't I don't care you know it's like they know I'm a pig you know but so I get the brunch there was a lot of stuff I couldn't eat because I'm a vegetarian a lot of stuff had you know meat in it in some capacity um, so that kind of sucked. So I didn't get a whole lot. I did, you know, there were like little baby pancakes and stuff, and I ate like four of those, um, which I don't think is really that bad considering my son had like a huge stack on his plate that he had gotten and stuff. And they were like eating mashed potatoes and gravy and things like that, and I couldn't have, I did, I could have had that, but I chose not to. Um, but I just had like some scrambled eggs, which I don't really like eggs, but I eat them anyway because I don't know because I guess they're supposed to be good for you. I don't, I don't know. Ah. Vegans will argue with me, but I'm trying my best. I just don't know what to do. Um, but I drank water. I didn't drink anything bad. And then everyone else was like going and getting donuts and cakes and stuff like that. And I went and got fruit. I like, okay, I'm seriously going to try to be good. And I ate fruit and like... <laughs> It just sucks. It sucks so bad. You know, and everybody's like, oh, you're not, you're not losing weight. You're gaining muscle. You know, you're not gaining fat. You're gaining muscle and muscle weighs more than fat. And I'm just like, shut up. They're trying to be nice, but come on people, seriously. Do you see muscle here? No, there's no muscle here. It's fat. It's bingo wings. Okay. There's no muscle here. And if there is, it's hidden under so much fat that it's just ridiculous. So anyway, so, um, some of you guys know that like last Wednesday, I tried to go out for a jog with my sister and failed horribly. Um, so over the weekend I was like, okay, maybe I need to start like learning how to run properly how to jog properly because I know that there's you know proper form and there and there is um, and there's proper ways of breathing because that's my biggest problem is that I can't breathe I get going and I get two seconds in and then suddenly I cannot breathe and then I have a panic attack and then when I have a panic attack then I definitely can't breathe and it's just this vicious cycle that happens and then I just freak out and can't exercise efficiently so one of my sisters like you just need to learn how to breathe properly and, and I know that so I had gone home and I looked up some videos and I believe the the gentleman's name is Matt Coma K-O-M or not K-O-M or Kama I don't know anyway I think he's Australian um, but he's got a bunch of running videos I may have to look for the link and then post it um, down there one of his videos and stuff he's got a whole bunch but I watched a bunch of his videos and aside from the fact that he's a good-looking guy and he was entertaining to listen to um, what he said made sense it seemed really simple and easy and, and made sense so um, over the weekend I attempted to put some of his 
suggestions to work and I actually was able to run five minutes straight on the treadmill without really feeling like I was gonna die, which is amazing for me. I've never actually ran steady for five straight minutes. So I was like, I didn't want to overdo it. So then today I thought, okay, I'm gonna um, see if I can bump it up a little. If I can't, okay, we'll go back. Um, so I did 10 minutes today. And the funny thing is, is I had Spotify on, which I've never really tried to work out to Spotify. I usually have just playlists on my phone. Um, but I put Spotify on and I pulled up the like run genre thing or something. And one of the things was, you know, it, it had, you know, like, or it was in the workout or something, or I don't know, it's the, go find the running stuff. But they had one that was like treadmill run. I'm like, okay, you know, so I popped on that. And it says start running and it'll figure out your pace. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Give it a shot. So I had my phone in my hand. So I start running and it, it figured out within a few seconds what my pace was. And it played songs that would match my running pace, which is very useful, I guess, if you listen to music um, when you run, and most people do. Um, it's good to have something that you can like keep a nice steady pace to. So that's kind of cool. So if you're not aware that Spotify has that, look that up. Um, and when I'm at the gym, I'm on Wi-Fi, so I don't feel bad. I'm not using my data plan. But um, that's something, if you have Spotify, check that out, because I thought that was kind of neat, and I just discovered that today. But I was actually just running along, listening to my music, and all of a sudden, the treadmill starts going going slower and slower and I'm like what the heck am I doing is my pace like wrong and I looked down and I was in cool down mode so I'm running for 10 minutes straight not even a week later after dying on Wednesday and today's Monday and I did 10 minutes without even realizing I had done 10 minutes so music get a nice steady pace and baby steps <laughs> like don't overdo it but just a little bit at a time so um, maybe I might try to go for 15 minutes next time maybe I'll stay at 10 minutes for a while until I can get that down but um, that's something that's hard for me it's like I want to be good right away and um, being with my sisters and some of the people some of my friends from the gym it's hard to be in battle with yourself you look at everyone around you and you want to do what they're doing and it's I'm, I'm horrible about that I compare myself to everyone around me and you know my sister can lift way more weights than I can and so can my you know workout partner Chris and you know Jay can run you know for long periods of time and not even look like she's even broke a sweat and I can't do that so um, I have a hard time with that because I, I bat, I'm my own worst enemy and I look at everyone around me and I try not to compete with myself, I want to compete with everyone else. So um, baby steps, so I'm trying to like to remind myself just a little bit of time and just keep working and just don't stop trying that and then eventually even though it's a short, you know, it, 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 it's it's not it's not a short progress it's a long progress it takes a long time sometimes to build things up but I know that most of the time when I've done 5k's I usually can't run them I walk them and then I walk them and it's usually between 40 and 43 minutes so if I could run it I could get my time down exponentially so that's kind of my goal is to try to do a 5k within the next few months where I can like knock five ten minutes off my time would be amazing that would be great or if I could run more than half of it you know without having to slow down to walk would be wonderful so um, those are kind of goals for me right now I'm not a runner I never have been a runner ever 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 never even in gym like I could never run I'm not an athletic person so to be able to do jogs would be cool to be able to go out and jog for a half hour straight without dying would be wonderful so um baby steps five ten minutes on the treadmill i'm working on that so um so if i can do it dude so can you man <laughs> like seriously i am like the overweight sloth so if i can do it so can you no excuses right we're not gonna allow each other to have excuses so anyway so that's all i have for today baby steps spotify let let the spotify help you get a good pace if you're gonna run and don't give up and only compete against yourself right see you guys later bye